We're rolling. My name's Penny Lima, and I'm going to be helping the vet take an x-ray of Jimmy the horse, and he's going to walk me through taking this film. Uh -huh. First film we want to take is going to be a straight view. Of this is the left fetlock, the left ankle. And you're going to take a position that I always do the first one is an AP view, which is completely straightforward. You're going to be completely perpendicular to the line here. You want to move this over here like this, okay? okay. This is going to be what's called an AP view. You will be setting your camera. This is your, your pointer, which will tell you the, the direction of the beam of the entry. You remove this when you take it, and you click it, click. And then you go, that's, that's your first view, an AP view. If I'm going to continue to take, I usually take four or five views. The next view would be an oblique lateral, which would be positioning the film at this point, you want to have, I will be perpendicular. You want to keep this on the floor like that, so it's perpendicular to that. Um, sorry about that. The view on this one is going to go oblique. It's going to go at about a 45 degree angle to the midline. And you're going to take it like that again. You would be pulling up your pointer and clicking to take the film. You would then replace that cassette with another cassette. The next view you would take is a straight lateral, which would mean the best place for you to get is to be putting this either underneath the horse like this, straight view like that, a lateral view like that. And that's also so it's perfectly parallel to the uh, position of the ankle, and you do the same thing again. You'd be pointing there, picking up your pointer, and firing at the appropriate time. The next view you take on that would be the medial view, which would be turned around and you'd come around this way, and it would be in this position, right there, okay? okay. You're taking a medial oblique, which means you're coming from this direction over there so that you can highlight the different sesamoids. Then you're trying to highlight the medial sesamoids and all the uh, anatomy on the medial side of the bone, of the leg. So you take it from, from this side. Um, be the same thing, you have to put, pull your pointer up and take the, take the picture at that point. The same thing you would do if you were taking the knee. Slide it up to the knee. If you want to take the knee, you would do the same thing. You, would get, you need to come up a little bit higher, right there. I would position your, the veterinarian or whoever's taking the pictures would position it for you so that it's the, at the appropriate uh, level that you want to highlight what you're taking. Also, the beam needs to be completely uh, perpendicular to your to your uh, uh, film, so that you don't get an oblique shot. If I if I if this beam is aiming down, I'm not going to get straight across. Okay? okay. So as an operator, what you need to do is make sure that you have it in the right position. So to the, you know, then I, if I'm going to do a straight lateral, I mean a straight uh, AP, it would be the same thing. You would put it right there. And you'd be taking you'd be taking your X-ray from here. This is a straight AP view, and you would do the same thing again. You would you know, remove your pointer and take the film, there. and you, it's the same thing with the ankle. If you wanted a lateral oblique, you do it up here. You turn your ankle, you know, at the lap, you have to move around. It's an oblique shot, so you have to move backwards. Okay, a little bit more, and you always want to have it perfectly parallel. You got a little bit tilted. You got to raise it and right there. Once you get the hang of it, you yeah. understand. That's a perfect oblique lab. I'm gonna take it right there. Sure. Okay. Should we take one? Uh, if you want to take one, we take yeah. one. Okay. Right there. Okay. That film can take. Now, if you want to replace that film, take it out and put another film on. You remove it from here. It's kind of hard to work with those gloves. You take that film out and you put another one in. And you shoot it again. Do you want to use the camera yourself now or do you want to uh, want me to take some more films with it? Or sure. Um, what film? Okay. Yeah, 